Welcome back on The Influence. It's your favorite host, Taki the Prince, the one and only. Um, how are you guys doing on this marvelous night? It's currently 1.28 a.m. I shot episode two yesterday, yesterday night, and I was so tired. So I am here again at 1.28, um, and I'm shooting it again. Um, hope you guys are having a marvelous one fantastic night um because i know i am um so excited like that i can finally shoot it the right way because episode one it was like an introduction i said my um my youtube intro in the um in the first episode and i just feel like this is the actual episode like this is it this is the episode um and i did a whole entire um election on the school, the school community, the school system, you know what I mean, and the um, parenting system, and being controlled by, you know, everything, like, everything is controlling us, and um, I'm so excited to, um, you know, talk about it. So, let's talk about, um, I want to start on strict, the word strict, and you know, you know how you grew up and how your grandparents, your parents, grandparents taught them this discipline and, you know, they grew up and they start doing it to you. But, you know, they just they complain to you like, oh, my um, back in the day, we didn't do this and that, you know, and it was like, I feel like these generation, these are generational curse, um, not the um. The discipline, but you know the um, the controlling, cause we are being like you know how slavery and stuff. This stuff has never stopped. It's not stopped. You know how the oh you discipline you you whip them and stuff like that. How did y'all come from slavery? Y'all, well, our community come from slavery. Um, and y'all continue, and this is for like all races, but you know, slavery, the whips and stuff like that, y'all use these disciplines and these disciplines come from slavery. If you get what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of weird, right? If you like really think real hard and long about that, um, this stuff is still here. Like, it's, it's just crazy. And you know, um, control being controlled. All this connects to um, the um, system. The um, what's that called? I don't know what it is, but it's it's that word. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But I know it's like it connects to um, all this. How it's all still being. Yes, I found it. You know um, how I was saying your grandparents and stuff, they taught you this and that. And it's, it's like a, tr a controlling, you know, mindset when you are learnt from your elders and you grow up and it's just taught to your kids. And then it goes on and on and it's like a control and um, yesterday I was, because I forgot some of this stuff, so I'm redoing it, guys. Like I said, um, I remember saying, why are we being controlled, not just in our homes, but in our school system? Because why are we so controlled to the point that school is not even for us? If you get what I'm saying, this is for my people that's like, been trying, been trying to go through life, you know, being success, successful, and it, you know, it gets like very hard, um, from a uh, lots of us, you know, um, in in the school system, you know, if you take it back all the way to elementary, we're children, you know, we don't really know much. We're growing up. We get into middle school. You know, when you get in trouble in elementary, you get like a paddle and stuff like that. Like slavery. You get what I'm saying? How this is all connecting. Why are we 
it's, it's just really, it's wicked, it's crazy. Why are we getting paddles in school? You know, you get in trouble. Then we're moving up to middle school. They have detention, ISS. It's like prison. You get what I'm saying? It's like jail. So, we in um, middle school, you know, being children, being teens, growing up. Oh, we can't wait to go to high school, this and that. Oh, you get in trouble, you go to ISS detention. It feels just like jail. Okay? Now, let's take it to high school. I'm in high school. You get in trouble. The police putting you in handcuffs. Taking you to ISS detention, A school. And it's just like jail. But this is school, right? If you are listening to the words and, you know, paying attention, this is school. But every single thing we're getting controlled at home and outside of our home. It's kind of weird and it's sickening. And um, it's just really weird. Um, and back to the um, being strict in the parenting I want to ask, when I ask, um, what's that, kind of like, talk about, um, why are in our homes, um, these are for the, um, yes, for the strict parents that, you know, are really, like, too strict to the point where your children don't even like you. Like, they're like, oh, no, I don't even, I don't even do it right. They grow up. They like oh, I don't even know nothing about that lady or that one or that man, because you know they were strict all my life. I really couldn't, you know, connect and you know speak to them as being a child and you know wanting to talk to my parent. You know, these are for those teens that went through that and those parents. You know, why? Um, and like I said, this is like generational things that the grandparents taught them and they passed it down, and they taught their kids, and that's why they act the same way, because, you know, they were taught like that. Um, I just feel like it's very sad that there's teenagers right now that can't even come to their parents one-on-one, have a conversation, because they were so strict all their life that they pushed their child away, and they just couldn't deal with them anymore, you know, and, um, it's like a type of, it's like a feeling of you are outed all of, all, all of your childhood. Yeah, that's how I say it. All of your childhood. And um, if you bring it back to school, it all connects. Um, so if you ever been in trouble, you know, when you go up to the office or whatever, when you tell them your story, your side of the story, this and that, they really don't care. They push you away. They push you out like, who cares? You have no say-so, and you just get in trouble, you know, things like that. Um, and it's like, y'all don't even know the reason why most teens are like this. Um, most teens, they, their parents don't even, you know, communicate with them one-on-one, like I said. So, we have class clowns. How are class clowns created? By parents that don't talk to their children. They act out because they want attention. So, you see what I'm saying? It's these parents that, or it's not even because some people, they don't have that father figure or that woman figure and um they you know but they some people they live with their grandparents you know it's just you know some people they just don't they don't have that like and um it's like that's what sometimes that's why they act out that's what I'm saying um sometimes it's that way or it's because the strict parents and I'm speaking on the strict parents um because I feel like this is something that needs to stop. It's getting out of hand. Like, 
just knowing knowing people or you know seeing people and they have like very strict parents and they're like oh you can't do this and that it's like it creates a depression for them like me my parents they are really they they care but like if it comes to me doing something going from there it's like oh yeah you can go you can do what you do um but just don't don't disrespect me don't you know just don't do things like that you know stuff like that but it's discipline there but not so strict where it's like oh i i don't like this woman or lady you know when i grow up it's you know it's whatever i don't want to see her again you know it's just it's not like that um and i feel like it's just crazy why are these parents like this sometimes i can get it because you know just having parents and you know grandparents too and when they tell you their story their life story it's like oh i see why but when it becomes a generational thing that becomes on and on it's like it needs to stop because some of these children that's created or that have grown up well just me knowing children i have grown up with it's like oh and then you get them like oh i see where it comes from it's something that's you know passed down you get what i'm saying and um it's really crazy and um back on the what's that called the um topic of being controlled um i wanted to you know think let's think about how we are being controlled like i said being in school the system how it's like jail it's literally like jail me being in certain situations in school being racially profiled um many times going to the office you know being t put out oh no you don't have to say so get go in trouble you know and it's just like are you serious this is this is like jail i i should be at home being homeschool at this point you get what i'm saying it's just it's ridiculous you're going controlled here everywhere you know this they say it's a free country but how is it a free country if you're being controlled our whole lifestyle like going to work if we don't go to work where are we gonna go on the street you get what i'm saying so if we don't go to work you can't pay bills you can't do this and that you can't pay car payments and stuff like that you know we just we have to go to work and if they you know set their price you know how you like oh i want to raise this you know they set their prices whatever and you like oh, i don't want this and that if they don't set my um raise up high enough then i'm just quit they can do that because they know you need a job and you have to work here have not a choice you have to um any of these jobs you have to but you can't pay your bills you get what i'm saying you're being controlled this is the society the world and it's wicked it's really crazy um oh i just forgot i just had it on my mind you guys dang it was, I was talking about the school. Dang, I just had it on my mind. In school, I was racially profiled, like crazy, like wicked, weird. And the school did not do anything. Um, it was this lady, you know, she was new. And she would walk around, you know, and it was me and my three friends were all African American. Um, and, you know, we're just chilling, you know, and she's like continue to watch us, you know, try to start something, you know, we're just being teenagers, um, be in the morning, in the morning, you know, how you walk in and the bell has it ring, we in the halls, you know, being teenagers, excuse me, and, um, you know, there's two teachers 
this time it wasn't one, but it was two. They're coming to us like, but this was like multiple times when we was in the hall, you know, doing our thing. And they like, go to the, um, they just write us up for no reason. We're, you know, TikTok, we do TikToks in the hall, we stuff like that. And they just write us up for no reason, for no reason at all. And then my incident by myself, I went to the restroom one time. This, this again, this has happened multiple times. Um, of this woman, you know, continually um, coming towards me, you know, trying to start something. Um, I was going to the restroom, you know, I was in class. We come back from lunch. Yeah, so um, I did. I went past my classroom because there's two restrooms. I didn't go to the one that was closer to my class, but I went to the one that was down there. So um, I'm walking. I walk in. She's like has her hands on her hip because when I tell you, like I said, this is like something that has happened not once but twice, multiple times. And um, she walks in my classroom. I come back out the restroom. I see her walk out. I'm like, okay. This has been like the fourth time she went there, so it's probably going to. Well, I didn't think of that because, but you know, he's probably like getting tired of. He's on his computer working. He don't want to hear this teacher keep coming to him about me. So he like get your stuff and go to the office. I get my things, go to the office. I'm sitting there. I'm recording, and I'm like yelling screaming like out of anger um not like literally like oh but i'm like angry like oh this is racist i got the video too i still got it um i recorded everything i was like i thought i was about to have to go to court you know for this suing school you know but yes it was so crazy so i'm at the um office and then i see him coming up i'm recording and I don't think I got the part with him. I think when my friend came, yeah, when she came up there, I was recording. And um, he like, don't say nothing. And I was like, I promise I didn't do anything. And you guys, being in, I would say my school system is very weird. Like my school, just mine, um, it's very weird. Um, it's just very racist. Y'all probably like, y'all could just, like, seriously, it's not even funny, it's very sad. Oh, let me tell y'all incident, one of my friends, when was it, but I'm gonna keep going with my story, but we was at this, um, at a football game, they literally racially profiled her because they thought she was somebody else and kicked her out the game, and then when they told her that she was the wrong person, they didn't care, she was going off, you know. And I feel like being, you know, black, not even black because we're not black. Where is black? Brown. Okay. Um, you know, being brown, colored, brown skinned, not colored. That's some, no. You see how we've been controlled because we know these words and it's just in our head. You know, we, you know, but next, um, being brown and, you know. They just, they want to have us locked up. This is something, generation curse, they put us in school. They know if we go to school, they have class clowns. You know, they have hyper kids. You get what I'm saying? Um, Oh, they, they know they're going to get in trouble. So they put them in ISIS. Then, you know, it's just a whole lot of stuff going on in these school systems and it's not being looked at out of all these schools. It's just really crazy. And it's not even funny because we should be able to go to school, learn. You hear me? Learn. Not worry about the teacher doing this and that, you know, getting rolled for this. And me being in these situations, I I know what I'm talking about. Like, it's crazy. Um, I shouldn't have to go to school and be like, oh, I don't want to go because so-and-so, this teacher is following me around. Literally, like I told y'all, let me finish this story, actually, since I'm on that again. Um, yes, after the office, I went in, talked to him. I'm like, 
you can check the cameras. I went to the restroom. He's, she's, she's talking about, oh, he was skipping. What I'm going to skip for, and you guys, I'm well known, popular, very popular in my school, and I don't get in trouble. So when I say I'm well known, the teachers know me. I don't get in trouble at all. You will never see me, you know, getting in trouble or doing anything like that um, because it would reflect back on my parents. You get what I'm saying? So if the back on being controlled or being how you're taught, how you're um, raised, yes, on that topic, how you're being raised, if um, how your children act in school will not, this should be for us as teens. Like, you know how we, we grew up with some half of these people, how your children act um is a reflection of you like they say um it definitely is and you would be like you would be amazed well the people i know be like dang they, they that's where they get it from you know it just be crazy it'd be really sad um because how this stuff like i said is passed down and con- you know being controlled like everything is controlled, the media is controlled. You, a, a rapper telling them to say anything, a singer. I'm oh, sorry for the freaking train in the background, but um, you they tell you to do this and that, and you know they'll do it. Literally, they'll do it. It's just crazy. Um, but what was I saying back on this um story? Yes. When I was in the office, he was like this and that. I recorded it. He was like, okay, I checked the cameras. Check the cameras. Talking about, oh, you was here at this time. And remind you, leaving the cafeteria, it was me and my friend. We walked back, and I went to the bathroom. There, um, They were sitting there, so we were the last one. So they seen us leave at a time that they said was late. Okay? Um, and I'm like... What? Are you serious? Y'all were sitting there. Y'all watched us leave the cafeteria. And y'all, the principal was sitting. You know, um, well, y'all don't know. Our principal they sit in, you know, the um hall near the cafeteria, and you know, what's that called? I don't know, but watch the um cafeteria, you know. And that's what happened in that incident, um, and just, you know, being brown and going to school, you don't really know we shouldn't be afraid to go to school, walk outside, and this all connects with racism being controlled, you know. And a lot of this, like I said, generation curse is is planned. Why are there so many prisons? Jails, you get what I'm saying? Not for just criminals, but for brown people, brown males. You don't really see women going in. You you get what I'm saying? You don't really see. It's to um, and this all connects with you know the parenting not having men in the home, so. Having the the um what's that called the prison system the jail system, they want to take um all the men out the homes, and that's when it comes to women raising the sons, the um daughters, and that's where it comes with the sons being raised by the mothers. Some of them, they get raised and they become feminine where there's not men in our generation are y'all see where this is connecting if there's not men's in the men in the home then the boys growing up cannot learn you know that old you know dad father and son you know bond they can't learn that because they're being raised by a woman all they know is a woman get what i'm saying so they will have women ways they don't know how to love a woman, you know, do things like because they were raised by women. 
y'all get what I'm saying, y'all see how this connects, if you're like, if you start to the front, you know, listen here at all, it's just, it's crazy, it's a lot, and I'm, you know, okay, yes, like I'm saying, they don't want them in the homes, because if they're strong brown men, then, oh, we're talking too much, okay, <laughs> But if there's strong brown men in the homes, they're, um, no, let's say if they're not, there's some more single mother, um, mothers out here and they will continue when, you know, they do these things in these, what's that called? It continues. Yes. It continues on and on. And, um, it's crazy. I don't, what's that? Um tried to think because I remember um we was talking about this one day these are thoughts like that's coming up from days ago and I was like dang I, I remember this um yes but as I was saying um they um create all this and it's like a plan this is all planned um yeah I'm a I'm a probably talk about the um, what's that called the jail topic in another episode because I want to touch back on that I want to touch back on that that's very you know it's gonna be like a um what's that a conspiracy not a conspiracy but what's that I don't know but yes um back on the school system what was I gonna say about that I didn't finish where I said we shouldn't we shouldn't be, um, what's that called? Scared to go to school, you know, scared to be outside and being brown and, um, not knowing what's going to happen just from having our skin color. And this is for the ones that, you know, situations that has happened to them and, you know, us watching, you know, stuff. Um, what's that called? What happened during the rioting, during the quarantine, you know, during all that stuff. Like, that is crazy. You see where all this history is never gone. It's like it's never went away. Um, why do we have to, why do we have to protest? Because... What am I trying to say? Why do we have to keep protesting for our rights when this is a free country, right? Why do we have to do that when it's a free country? Okay? It shouldn't. Why are there so many people judging, saying this, saying that, so much racism? Why? I don't understand. Like I was saying how the um what's that called the parents it's all taught in the home how if your children they're in school acting class clown this is all taught in the home this is all from the parents this is all passed down the racism the the acting the tension you know everything the grownness the high grown it's it's all in the home it's generational curse and it it just needs to stop. Everything needs to be broken. And the way it will be broken is if that one person, you know, just broke it and um continued on. Like they broke it, then they had children and they broke and it just continued. It would just, you know, it would work out. But we have to see. We just have to pray on that and you know, wish for better better days. And always be in a positive mindset, you know. Um, if you are not, like, a positive person, because there's, I'm just, I'm really so shocked how many people that, let's talk about, um, that aren't, what's that called, confident. And they feel like they can't, you know, do certain things. I just feel so bad, like, 
just me growing up in school, I would be talked about like crazy. You know, just me being the I used to talk think about my looks, you know, just you know, pretty boy, you know, looking like a pretty boy. I'd be like, they'd be like, oh, you look like this, you look like a girl, and this and that. And I just used to be like, why do I look like this? But not like, oh, I'm ugly. I would look like, why do I not look as masculine? And then I'm growing up, you know, it's coming out now, um, my look. But yes, I'd be like, why well, don't look like this? Why well, don't look like that? Um, and I'm like, I'm, those are just jealous haters. Like, you know, just being in school and going to school with these evil, evil people, these evil, negative people that, and back to the home, this has to do with people in the home. They have parents that really down their children, um, and I've seen it, heard it. You know, you be in public, you hear certain things with, you know, little comments with their child. Oh, you, girl, you know that outlook, you know that mm, you would never be, the, you know, stuff like that. And it'd be like, there's really parents out here that talk to their children like that? You know, speak negative, negatively over their children? And they'd be so sad because you're supposed to be a parent, a mother, a father. You shouldn't be telling your child, oh, you can't wear that. It looks too, you know, uh. and for the, what's that called? Um, the fathers, how if you do, what's something? I don't know. But if, how, um, what's that called? You have to be very masculine in these homes and um that what's that called being clean let's say clean because you know in this society if you are clean you dress really nice being a male you are you know you are not a straight male you are either gay bisexual you know etc and it's like why is this stuff taught in homes oh you better um like it's just so much like especially sagging that is taught in homes not taught but you know the media like i said they see it as like that's being masculine that is very disgusting that's not cute. Um, being clean does not have to do with sexuality at all. I don't know why these things are being taught in homes. Um, you know, being said at all. Why are these people so judgmental um, about a look? Like I said, um, there's parents that really talk about their children, don't uplift their children, very negative, um, and I, I, I can't, um, imagine what they go through, um, I'm so blessed to have my parents that are like, you know, what's that called, supportive, and, um, supportive with all me and my siblings, um, you know, they are like really positive, you know. I'm just so thankful for that. Because there's really parents out here that would choose men. Boyfriends over their daughters, sons. And, you know, having s certain people on social media, they would, you know, having private stories. They would talk about it in their private stories. And I would be like, are you serious? This is like real? Like imagine your mother that birth you you're calling for help you want them to notice you you know have that one-on-one -on -one bond like i said but they're so focused on a man and um doing things for them and not their children 
that's a whole nother, a whole nother subject to talk about in another episode. Um, I will talk about that with somebody else. Ooh, you all just got scared. My dog just woke up. Um, but yes, that's a whole nother topic um, to talk about. Um, back on the um, parents, like, if you are in that type of situation and there's lots and it's just so sad, um, you are beautiful, handsome, and you should always have positive vibes, positive thoughts, you know, all of the above. Watch positive videos. Like, even if you're going through the struggle, you don't ever have to have, oh, I would never make it out, things like that. When you have those thoughts, you will never make it out, for real. You would you would be depressed, stressed, and everything. Listen to, you know, successful um, rich billionaires and, you know, see where they come from. And, you know, listen to those positive videos um and you know it would what's the it would give you bigger and better ideas in your home and your life and you know like i said if you haven't watched my episode one i was talking about having you know write down goals and stuff like that um it's very important especially if you're in that type of environment or situation where you just feel like you're not worth it and I don't want anybody to feel like that that is crazy and um if yes one thing is if you have family members that you know are negative like that you you don't need to deal with them um even if they're around just always have positive thoughts even if it's you know it's it can be hard for some people um, just, you know, I don't know, just, just, you're, I'm here for you, I love each and one of you guys that are listening, um, um, this is, y'all, I didn't mess up the whole entire thing, but, um, yes, um, I just want to, um, I'm finna end it because it's like 37, I don't like going over an hour, almost an hour. But yes, I just want y'all to, you know, what's that called? Be, um, think bigger of yourself. Yes. You know, always have positive thoughts, positive, you know, positive vibrations around, you know. You know, just pop in some podcasts like me, you know, listen, you know, positive vibes um everything positive <laughs> but yes i think i'm finna end it we're, we're 38 minutes in i'm so excited and we're finna end episode two cannot wait to shoot episode three um if y'all want to see what's that called the visuals go to my youtube channel taki the prince and you can watch the visual and the um what's that called the audio is on all platforms anchor spotify apple Podcasts. i'm sitting right on you guys' phone um very crazy like i'm official i'm sitting on you guys phone so just look me up the influence by taki the prince and i will see you guys later peace